Good morning. Hello. Yes. So my mind has just officially been blown uh, because up until we just talked about it in the chat here, uh, I thought Roll Call was as uh, Ward put it originally, which was R O L E <laughs> Call. Like, say your role. Call off your role. Yeah, well, I'm but, S- Sergeant Major General Frank uh, Drebin. Yeah, Frank Drebin. Uh, <laughs> but apparently, apparently, oh, yeah, uh, apparently it's R O L L. Like, all right, roll the call, folks. Like, let's make it happen. So, I don't know what to believe anymore. Uh, I think it's call with A W L, because it's call. C A W L is an old uh, Yiddish term. Mm-hmm. That the actual etymology of the oh, Yiddish yeah? term comes from before that. It came back to the Sumerian term, uh, call. Continue. Which is actually a, a, a pseudonym mm-hmm. for an ancient Chinese term that I can't pronounce. Oh. Uh, the pronunciation of it has actually been lost to the ages, from what I hear. Hi. I don't remember where we were going with that. Gregor Durisiak. We're just waiting on a couple more people to show up. Cool. The Twitch stats are like very slow today. Slow as balls, I would put it. Mm. Uh, yes. As balls. So we, we're not going to even get started until it's um, until now. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. It's Roger backwards. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> That that's his actual name right so there. So it's just Rigor. Is it R- R- Roger? So it's Red Jor. Uh, so is it Rigor, R- Roger Kaiser? Oh. All right. Well, happy typhoon. To yeah. everyone. Uh, joyous hurricane to you all. So who's going to be affected by this? Uh, how many of our viewers out there are actually hanging out in either a typhoon area or a hurricane area? Especially that typhoon. That thing is nasty, but get the hell away from that flood. Yeah. Uh, speaking of. God. Oh, it did the thing again. Here's our Twitch stats, everybody. You would Hi. not believe that it, right before we went live, it was not doing this. Yeah, you, you gotta be. You gotta. Me. You gotta set the display capture. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, this, this is this is so terrible, so unprofessional. Can't believe this is happening. Yeah, there we go. Unbelievable. <sighs> but this has happened again. Get your shit I together, OBS. I won't let this get on our get on our wavelength here, OBS. <laughs> so, as you can see, we prepped everything perfectly here. Uh, so. If you are not as part of the uh, weather that's coming everyone's way, congratulations. Uh, You can sit on this coast and laugh. Uh, I am actually going to be on that coast next week, so I am not looking forward to that. It's not going to be that bad all the way to New England. But, like, okay, so. It might rain. But this Weather Channel video thing has, like, now made me so nervous about, like, drowning and stuff that, that, like, this is my new. This is my new source of like <gasps> every day. Okay, I, you're you're freaking out about this, but I'm going. Damn, they really went all out with the you know the computer generated graphics and stuff. It's like, really okay, cool not only, looking. Not only is the water level rising, but the background here. Did they like throw? Okay, yeah. did they like? At first, I thought that was a real car just sitting there, but then I'm like, oh, they're actually it's actually floating and stuff. So there's all these three D elements. Mm. The guy's obviously standing in a green screen or something, but. Doing all that real time, yeah, it looks really good. It's so creepy though. Like they they talk about when you get to like the nine foot level and stuff like that. When it's at nine feet, like that, and everyone's dying and drowning, they're like, you can actually see fish in the water and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, what a pleasant way to spend your last moments. Going, is that a fish? Is that my dog? Is that my welcome mat? Great. <laughs> like, okay, this is weird to me because well, first off, it's not you're not going to see the fish because it's not going to be a nice clear cutaway, and the water is going to be murky. It's going to be insanity um but i think it's interesting that they're doing this instead of just the normal thing where it's you know they have a guy that goes out there like hey i've got a great idea i'm gonna go out and stand in some life-threatening conditions and mm-hmm. scream about like 
you know, like their winds going, they're like, Ugh. like, they're like, people shouldn't be here. Everyone around me is dying, Jim. And like, well, there's that, and then there's yeah. the other thing where they like, they always want it to be that, like the one time where the guy gets like knocked off his ass or something. Yeah. They want it to always be that because then you're like, I can eat popcorn all day. Just <laughs> eat popcorn and watch that. I want to watch, watch Weather Channel bloopers. Yeah. Who needs to watch Gladiator? I can watch <laughs> with the Weather Channel people. Thank you for the subscription. You're better than yes. some other people yeah. uh, who but haven't subscribed. No, that's kidding. <laughs> no, no. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, then you're a bad person. Is that the way it works? Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's how it works. Uh, I'm not finished with this stupidity. That means there are 33 good people. 33 <laughs> yeah. good people in the world. At yeah. least we know that much. Yeah. But there's also the other group of, of reporters who stand out there in a light trickle and go, oh, it's so bad out here. I can't believe it. And then there's like a guy mm-hmm. on a unicycle that's in the background like, oh. Yeah. There's like the drunk college kid being like, <laughs> I'm going to expose my penis, you know. In the background, you know, yeah. like every time. Like, like. Uh, but then, the, you know, there's that. And that's not really compelling either because it's like, okay, yeah, 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 we get it. You're yeah. just, but so in order to combat both of those things, they're like, why don't we make extreme conditions right here in the the cool the cool or the warmth the cool? It's maybe it's too cool. hot right here in the cool. Is of that our like studio. is that like the yes and like the yes. cool is the opposite of warm? Yeah, the cool. Yeah, <laughs> can't wait to get inside to the nice cool of the yeah. of the living room. Mm. And that's what they've done. Here. I love when a nice cool throws over in the evening. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening. So this still makes me anxious as fuck. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I watched that and was like, oh God, I should not have started my day watching this. Now it's just going to be like, the flood's going to get me all day. Uh -uh. Yeah. Look at that. I I always want them to play, to do the, to do this on the weather yeah. channel, but the guy who sends it over to him always needs to be like, all right, Ben, what are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> and then he cuts over to that. That's uh, the way they so, but thankfully, thankfully I can at least take solace in knowing that this is somewhere in like California or something. Cause there are palm trees. It could be Florida. Oh, either way. I'm happy. Which I, if Florida could <laughs> yeah. be under, yeah. yeah. Like what has Florida done for anybody? Yeah. Under? I'm, I'm sorry. Oh no, we might lose Florida. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Miami's gonna be underwater. Yeah. Oh, the cocaine, get it all. Oh no, oh no. Like, we'll lose a state that's air has like quality of chowder and like it's just full because of, it's so humid. That's yeah, why. it's just full of disappointment and egrets. Like, hey, if you're from Florida, I hate you. No, I don't hate you. I'm being silly right now. Just if you feel felt bad, I wanted to make it worse, but now I feel really sorry about what I've done. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's, uh, Let's hug, but I don't like to hug, so hug someone else as a surrogate for me. Yeah. You want to do it? No. You want to hug the people I've offended? All right. There, there. I actually saw Logan hug a person the other week and was like... Yeah, he's... We, we were in California, and we met a friend from the old school, somebody I went to like yeah. school with. And we gave each other like a hug, and he like... Yeah. You, touched, you touched a human. I, I was literally dumbfounded at the Chinese restaurant we were at because I was Taiwanese. We were, we were at, I was like, I was like, my God, Logan just made physical contact with another human being by choice. So this guy's one of these like jokers, right? He's a goofball. Yeah. And he used to do this thing to me where like we'd be just like meeting up for a beer or something. He'd be like, Hey, what time do you want to meet for the beer? And I'd be like, I don't know, I was about seven thirty or whatever. And he'd be like, Okay, I'll see you there. I love you. And then he'd hang up before I could say anything. And it would just because he knew that like uh. I'm not like feely and he would just say like okay i love you bye and he would hang up on me and i'd be like the feeling you've done it again to me you've put that oh. little seed in here that makes me feel awkward and awful oh man that's like my uh i have a i have a buddy that's a, a professional comedian uh his name is nariko ott if you have not checked him out before uh but he has this really really terrible joke that he does with people where uh he'll go to high five you and right before the high fives meet he'll go white power so that so that oh. right as you high five, oh. it goes and it gets oh. people every fucking no, time. No, it's the no. worst thing on the planet. No, uh, but it's the, who it's, does this? It's a, a friend of mine that's a comedian, and it's just like every time he does it, someone you're just he's like a motherfucker. Uh, of course he's a comedian. Now we can't stay at this restaurant. Like <laughs> I thought you were gonna be it's like really terrible. I thought you were gonna really be like he terrible. swings right past you and grabs you in an inappropriate. No, no, no. Yeah. He 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 throws white power at the last second. It's just awful every time and so now he's he's one of my D players and it's great because like we'll sit at the table and stuff and something really awesome will happen because i'm a great dm and uh like we'll sit at the table and then everyone he'll be like like guys that was awesome high five nobody and everyone at the table will be like leave him hanging 
Leaving him hanging. No, and then like the newest player will be like, oh yeah, and someone else's table will be like, don't. <laughs> no, don't buddy no yeah he the, he can't help it it's a parasite that lives in his neck yeah, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. he just cannot help it all right we're gonna talk about gaming first today and then stay tuned for the whole entire show or else i'll kill you uh, we have a bunch of sword slinger talk because christian's here he's going to be leaving in about an hour but we've been working on the game you guys yeah. have been seeing the the streams i'm sure uh throughout the week but he's gonna come over and we're gonna joke around and talk about the game just a little bit what to expect, and uh, where to send us your credit card information. Yeah. Uh, so are we back to calling Ward Logan again? I, whatever they want. Guys, I don't care. I'm, so I keep calling him Logan because that's what I've been like accustomed to calling him for the past mm. year and a half. So uh, trying to work on calling him Ward instead. So feel free to like do what the Lego people do when you add S at the end of Legos. Like if if you give no, I, if no, 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 Logan go at me or something. I don't care. I mean, like Logan's yeah. was still like the screen name that I use when I play video games and stuff. So yeah. it's like all right. people call each other by the screen name all the time. You know, like when yeah. I'm hanging out, I'm like uh, uh, John the Murderist. Come on, hang out with me, buddy. No, no, you do not. <laughs> oh, tasty. Not... Oh, tasty. Them's fighting words. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's take a let's talk about video games. Video, video games, yes. Yeah. Video games. I am the Klimt. Yeah. Uh, so, for those of you that haven't played the game A Hat in Time, which uh, I played a little bit of it and found it to be quite enjoyable. Were you hat in a good time? Oh yeah, I was just hat filled pun. <laughs> I got nothing. You got nothing. You can't come back with hat in a good time. Yeah. Just anyway, stop. you're stop. Uh, they're, they're anyway. running out of time to redeem this. Station. So, anyways, yeah. So. For those of you that already have a copy of A Hat in Time, they just released some DLC for it, and it is free for the first 24 hours. So as this is live, it is still available for those of you that haven't, by the time you're watching this on Sunday, in the future, it'll be too late. Sorry, ass. Um, so <laughs> just tarreted that out there. Yeah, just Sorry, ass. Uh, so anyways, yeah, um, yeah, go get it now. After the show, like it's still gonna be fine after the show. I mean, you will, it's okay if you have multiple monitors; you can get it out. Yeah, you I mean, if you gotta monitor, go, if you gotta go redeem it right now and then start downloading in the background while you're watching us, mm -hmm. that makes sense. And if you only have one monitor, you better stay right here because we're not finished with the meeting yet. All right. Uh, serious question: What's the best way to clean one of the Zwyander mouse mats? Um, okay, they work in the machine as long as you do it with cold water, and it doesn't say on the thing, so I'm mm -hmm. not gonna like a million percent guarantee that. I usually just. Do a little scrub on mine, like with yeah. a with a washcloth. You could do a little soap and then dry it out. Mm -hmm. um, but someone said they have. They told me that they have washed theirs like seven or eight times in really? the wash. Just mm. standard, just cold water. Washer, cold water. Hang dry. Uh, hang dry. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Hang dry. Is that like a thing? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, super glue on it from 40k minis. Oh. Why did you make 40k minis on one of these mats? You're going to need to buy six more. Yeah. To cover the rest of your table. I mean, man, I don't know if it's going to get super glue off, to be honest. Yeah. Um, Just I hope it wasn't in a spot, like, in the middle of the map. If it's, I mean, in the middle of the uh, the yeah. mouse mat. Maybe it's, if it's on the side or something, it'll be okay, but that sucks, man. Uh, next time, cardboard instead of yeah. uh, a mat for your things. We fixed your problem by telling you what to do next time. Yeah. <laughs> Will that make you feel better? Yeah. yeah. Alcohol? I don't yes. know. So, oh, we've, we've got a funny alcohol uh, story. Christian, when you come on, you better tell the alcohol story. The rubbing alcohol story. Oh yeah. Well, we'll save it. We'll save it. But okay. don't forget that has to be told. You guys have to hear this rubbing alcohol story from this week. Mm -hmm. It'll blow your minds and save the children, and uh, you'll but be not the British. You'll be children. saved. Yeah, <laughs> not the British children, but not the British children. <laughs> All right, back to video games. Like you know, yeah. We were so. So we we're uh, going to talk about Matt. Uh, so uh, Nintendo has revealed their full details for their Switch Online program. Uh, including games that are the the like roster of games that are going to be made available to you, uh, but basically Switch has gotten to the point where they're like, hey, no more freebies. So freebies, as in like let's let's just go through the things that they were giving away for free. They're like so online play. They were giving that away mm -hmm. as just a courtesy because Nintendo is such a good and loving company. They were just giving this stuff away. Yeah, stuff that is free every day on the PC. Mm -hmm. Every day, this is free on on PC. Um, mm -hmm. And, and now they've got the Nintendo uh, Entertainment System online, which yep. has a very limited number of games down here. This is what you get right here. Soccer, tennis, Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers. And these are NES games, not yeah. Super Nintendo, not N64. Jeez. So you get this small list. 
None of which any of these you could ever possibly play for free on a PC. Never. No. Ever. Could you ever do any of that for Jesus. free? Jesus. And look at this. They've also given you the inconvenience of holding this extremely rigid square controller. Mm-hmm. That's something as a bonus. Yeah, but it's okay because it's a throwback, so it makes you feel better. Uh, even though they discovered after years of prototyping and stuff that the original NES controllers weren't actually comfortable yeah, to use for extended periods of time. 90, uh, 99% of all cases of modern hand gout yeah. are from the original NES it's controller. True. I looked it's it true. up on the internet. Uh, yeah. How could that be wrong? Uh, I looked it up online. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And it can be all, all cases of uh, violence perpetrated as a result of playing video games can be traced back to the first controller that those people held were NES controllers. Yeah, they just and really... the square edges went into their hands here and here. And it everyone knows there's a pressure point right here that uh, causes uh, gun violence and insanity in people. <laughs> and just you push on both sides at the wrong time and boom. So you're also going to have your, um, <laughs> your, your smartphone app. <laughs> And they're actually going to enable some uh, online voice chat with the smartphone app and stuff like that. Yeah. And some, also some features that you uh, will have on the smartphone app. So now mm-hmm. we can hold seven controllers in a, in a wireless thing and, a, and maybe put on a headband and yeah. also have, a, 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 we just need have the, our phone as well. Like we need all the these like, things. DBZ like, power monitor things that they have. Like right. the ones that they can be like, my God, his power level is over 9,000. Yeah, one of the little Ugh. things. Like we need, we need one of those fuckers to like play off of you now. Yeah. But I, I just think it's a great idea to also be using the controller and my my phone at the same mm-hmm. time to be playing a game that I'd rather just be playing with the controller. That's a great idea. Yeah. I, I think this is silly, mm-hmm. but that's just me. Cloud save's not available on certain games, yes. Uh, that's because you could cheat and go back in time and, like, access your old... I don't know how that works. Yeah, so... The, the, Nintendo, you're not helping. Yeah, just... The, the online just, play should be free. Come on. Come on, consoles. Shut up and release Pokemon early, Okay. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. That's all I want. That's all I want. Is that so much to ask? Are you sure that's all you want? Well, now that <laughs> Steam is accepting 100% uncensored, sexually explicit adult games, I got the other thing I want. So until Nintendo is willing to make me a 100% uncensored, sexually explicit adult Pokemon game, I'm just going to have to accept that both these worlds are going to stay separate so, until I find the right corner of the internet. Weebs, this is for you. Yeah. <laughs> now, so far, all of the like explicit games... Have been like cutesy, big boobed anime things, right? Sure. They haven't done, but you know, there's, what's going to stop them from doing a VR, uh, just full video? You know what I mean? Like if, if so, Steam they they had these rules where they didn't want to do any like uncensored games or any censored uh, yeah, uncensored games, and then Gabe Newell came out and is like, full on open markets, everything goes as long as it's not illegal or trolling. So mm-hmm. they now are saying as long as it's not illegal, as long as, long as it's not trolling, we'll release it. And, of course, there'll be, like, the age verification where you go and input that your... Everyone's birthday on Steam is, is January 1st. Yeah, like, all, 1970. Yeah, everyone because, knows that your birthday is yeah. January 1st, 1970. <laughs> That's... I, I think they should use those, those uh, like, statistics that people give to show the average age of the gamer. And it's going to be, like, 48 years old, January 1st, everyone's birthday. Yep. Yeah, just, just scroll back. I think I was, like, 92 the other day. Nice. Yeah, like just scrolled back really fast. It was like 1940s on the Oh my god. Hi, Kanye the Giant. All big. <laughs> like, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Hi, Kanye. So, anyway, what I'm going to ask right now is like, do you think the standards are going to change if they start putting uh, extremely explicit full motion video games on? I mean, like full motion video video games. I feel like. I feel you like. You think there's going to be a difference there? I feel like they're going to. Uh, I feel like it's just going to be a whole new, like, <laughs> sub uh, a whole new breeding ground of just, like, really shitty but filled with boob games that are just going to, like, be regurgitated onto Steam now. Yeah. Like, like Boobs and Explosions 4. Yeah. Like, patent uh, pending. That I've already, <laughs> we've used that joke, like, 20 times throughout the years. Like, well, the best Hollywood movie this year happened to be Boobs and Explosions. Four. Again. Yeah. Four. Every time. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, like, I, I feel like... You know, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a, a, a toxic wasteland of anime boobs for a while until Steam like goes back and is like, oh, okay, hang on. We may have overspoke yeah. when we said anything goes. Yeah. Um. You know, they don't want they don't want to be curators. They don't want to be gatekeepers or anything like that. Um. But they want everything on their platform, so they might just keep out of it and let it go to whatever it is. But mm-hmm. you know, sometimes. You know, content platforms and stuff are pretty open, and then they just have one rule, and that's no porn. And 
that's also something they might do in the future, but I want to know in the comments what people think is going to happen. They need to also now incorporate a feature that is... Uh, because you know how they have like the game categories, you can hide right. some games. Right. They also need to have another category that's like hide this embarrassing game from my friends. Right. That's uh, gonna be the big thing. I think a lot of people are gonna probably have two Steam accounts. Yeah. They're gonna like, and one throwaway porn account. And yeah. Weeb sixty nine sixty nine. Yeah. And, and then, then a throwaway account. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that was was not the throwaway account. I get the joke. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, any, any good comments over there about what's what the future is going to hold for uh, everyone? Basically, uh, people saying that Pokemon porn is real, which, duh, it's rule 34 of the internet. Uh, oh, really? Is yeah. it? I didn't know that. Uh, but, you know, some some talk about boobs. We got some age restriction, like, as long as that right. stuff. Uh, let's, let's move off of that and move mm -hmm. to hats, shall we? Yes, We're talking more about hats. Yes, Total Biscuits hat right there. Yes, it is what, Total What's Biscuit. it doing on, on, on uh, Blizzard? So, uh... StarCraft II has put out a Total Biscuit commemorative bundle uh, that uh, back when they were re-releasing StarCraft and everything too, they had all these guest commentators and stuff on it, including one of them being Total Biscuit. However, uh, this bundle, 100% of the sales are going to be going to uh, Total Biscuit's family uh, to help support them after the loss of, uh, you know, kind of an icon. So, well, yeah, and also, I mean, yeah. he... His channel was what was really, I mean, really keeping everybody alive mm -hmm. as far as like just paying the bills and stuff like that. Yeah. The daily needs. Of, and, and then mm -hmm. it, it's tragic. So yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool that so it's So until be December them. 31st, uh, they're going to, yeah, they're going to be helping support them. So if you have never played StarCraft 2 for some reason, uh, now's a great time to get at it. And they got a great picture of him right there. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. That's, that's like, it's an, <laughs> that's got this great, like, piercing picture with yeah. his chin up and you know mm -hmm. he's in the hat yep yep so pretty cool definitely definitely worth checking out oh yeah i think it's time to talk about this yeah can we talk about our uh, <laughs> our new battle royale game Where, where's the battle royale that that'll go over here i'll we'll, we'll make that joke later okay yeah preview joke <laughs> yeah well you'll see yeah. joke will be back in just a minute mm -hmm. so last week uh when we were at new egg we were talking about how the uh kingdom of amalur IP has been boughten up. Uh, boughten up. Boughten up. They done <laughs> they bought it up. Boughten them up, right? Yeah. So THQ Nordic actually picked it up. Uh, but EA <laughs> still has the publishing rights to the original game. So just because they now have the IP, it might be a long ass time before actually anything comes from it. Because EA is, as I said, <laughs> All right. we need to turn so. that into like an animated thing. And then every time we mention EA, just hit the button for that to pop up in the middle of the screen. <laughs> that would be uh, that would be great. Yeah. I, I don't think there'll be a. I don't think there's going to be an updated version of it because EA stands for Evil Associated. <laughs> is that what it is? Yes. I never knew that. That's what it stands for. Yeah, sure. Oh. Yeah. All right. Uh, how about another Wolfenstein game? You guys want another Wolfenstein game? Yes. Do, do you? I mean, yes. I haven't played Part Two. I played Part One. I have. Part Two is a lot of fun. It turns out like, I love shooting Nazis. Really? Yeah, it's really crazy. Kind of, kind of into it. Yeah. Uh, and remember, you know, the, the part two it was. Uh, I mm -hmm. wonder if part three is going to have the same like effect that part two did. Yeah. You know, when it came out, like all of a sudden, all these like p dudes with like twelve IQ are out in the streets being like, they're making fun of us. Like, like yes. Whoa! The, yeah. I don't know if I'm okay with them doing a game about shooting Nazis. Yeah. Ooh. Didn't that same accent back in the day used to be the same accent when it was like, let's go shoot us some Nazis, but now the same accent. Yeah. Is, what happened? Mm. Oh, no. Have we offended anyone yet? <clears throat> Should we try harder? Mm. Let's try harder. Yeah. But not with this article. No. <clears throat> I'll save that for just a minute. We got more gaming stuff. Yeah. Now. Let's talk about this new Call of Duty uh, Blackout. Has anyone played this yet? It's going to be out today. Uh, and this is the new Battle Royale gameplay mode for Call of Duty. This is the new hotness, guys. This is the, yeah, this yeah. is it. And this article so. here on Forbes, I mean, even Forbes is talking about it. This is like, when Forbes talks about something, it's like, dude, I went to like this dinner and like my old uncle comes over and he was talking to me about the, the YouTube and, yeah. and Fortnite. Yeah. And now my uncle, my old uncle Forbes... <laughs> That's who it is, Uncle Forbes now. Great Uncle Forbes. <laughs> Great Uncle Forbes is talking about... Puts uh, down his copy of Departures Magazine long enough to talk to us about this. <laughs> and he's like, uh, have y'all heard about Call of Duty Blackout? I heard it's going to crush. 
Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Mm -hmm. Just gonna crush it. And from the video footage I've seen, it looks so much smoother than Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. And I don't know how I feel about this because it's a Call of Duty game. I, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. See, uh, see, COD is dead, huh? Is COD yeah. dead? It is is COD dead? Huh? It seems to be the, the way that game developers are going nowadays is just, you know... I, I don't know. Inject a Battle Royale mode into it and uh, phase three money. Oh, look, speaking of money, no, no thanks. Yeah, sorry, um, Borbs. Okay, I'll, I'll play this if I get a copy of it, but I ain't spending 60 bucks for it. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, give the guys over at Call of Duty some advice. Don't make the game free, but make Blackout a free-to-play game and then load it up with all your bullshit. But don't make the weapons. Uh, you know, buy it. You know, don't make it a... What's the one I'm looking for here? Uh, play to win. Don't make it play to win in the sense that you can buy the weapons. Just yeah. make aesthetic upgrades like, oh, I can have a neon green gun so everyone can see me and I can have a, a headband or whatever. Make all that stuff, stuff that you can purchase. Make a bunch of stupid dance moves that you can purchase like in Fortnite. Fortnite's mm -hmm. making like uh, $300 million a month free to play off game. Of stupid dance moves. Off of stupid dance moves. That's the only thing in Sword Slinger that's going to be uh, uh, that you can buy. Dance moves. We're gonna. I'm going to sell the hell out of it. And I will put it on one of the little suits with the, the balls all over it. Yeah. And I will cut a rug that's so fierce that downstairs will be shaking. Yeah, I'm into that. I'm, I'm going to make a dance that is going to make you forget that you knew what dancing looked like before you saw my dance. I'm sure it will. It'll transcend time and space. That's the dance. And subspace. Yes. Yep. The ultimate dance of the human race. It transcends yep. all time and space. It's Justin's dance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, moving on. <laughs> Moving right along here. Yep. I, I can't. What? I can't. Okay. Should we? I haven't even looked at this. What's number one on their list? This is, I, I, uh, I guess that's like the question. Uh, okay, I want to I show you something. Like, uh, no, like, I don't. How far is Divinity ha on the line? How far down? Two. Okay. All right. All right. But Okay. I, this is an opinion piece, and uh, they're wrong. It makes me sad because so many people read PC Gamer and they're going to show up and realize that all these games that they say are good are... I don't know. This is a terrible list. If you agree with this list, feel bad about yourself. Let's go to the last page to show you what the, the top pick is. That's Well, this is after the last page. Let's do uh, 12 here, shall we? I'll do it man. I'll do it live. Oh, oh I'm so tired. It took forever. They did The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt as number one game of all time. Okay. I'd put it like at 50. Maybe. I, uh, maybe 30. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, okay, if we're doing like the the most polished, amazing experiences, it's up way up there in the top few. It's such what I want to know well is put uh, together game. Where is 3D Pinball on that list? Oh, it's probably on here. No one PC gamer. Yeah, I've been giving these guys grief about it online, but uh, go through. If you guys want to be like, I know everyone on the internet loves to be like mm. shocked and angry. If you want to be shocked and angry, go through this list. 3D Pinball is the number one PC game of I all mean, time. I'm sorry. It just is. They put Fortnite ahead of Deus Ex. Ew. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. No. no. Oh, there's that again. How many times can you click on that tab? Huh? So, uh, we always talk about games that are like Hotline Miami, right? Yeah, absolutely. All the time. I'm going to show you a game that pretty much is Hotline Miami. We need some desktop audio for this. You guys ready for this? This game is just like Hotline Miami. Look at this. Wow. Pretty much this. Actually, it looks pretty good. It's called Arcane. Uh, it just came out. Pixel art. You're like a samurai with a gun. And the gameplay looks a lot like Hotline Miami. But uh, look how sh look how you're rolling around, though, in it. That's pretty Dark Souls-y. <laughs> I don't see any rolls yet. It looks like you're rolling to dodge to get out of things. That looks like Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, you die. It's like Dark Souls. It's like Dark Souls because yeah, you die it's in this game. Dark Line Miami. Dark Line Miami is the newest Souls. thing. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Dark Line Miami is <laughs> Oh, God, I've been waiting all day for this. Yes. There we go. That's over. <coughs> um, you didn't get the joke because you didn't hear the, the music coming out of this thing. I did not. The music is That's amazing. That's true. I didn't hear the music. The so. music is, I made a gift sound for those of you who want it. 
The link will be in the description of the video. It's worth every minute of this. Mm. All right, you ready to talk about uh, Jeff Bezos? No. Are you not ready to talk about it? Exactly. Jesus Christ, how'd you know? Today, I'm going to talk to y'all about Jesus. Isn't that the best thing that you can hear all day? So, there's a lot of people out there nowadays that speculating, was he real or was he not real? Well, I'm going to tell you, he was real, but not in the sense that you think he was. Well, he kind of was, but there is a group here, and this is going to get out there a little bit, but that's what we're here for, ain't it? There's a group here that can actually travel back in time and they do this by moving just outside of our reality and then reinserting themselves back in the past of our reality. That doesn't mean time is linear. There are many different realities. Uh, some people think it's maybe just a simulation, but when you really look at it, when technology is that crazy, it ain't just a computer. And th them computers in the future, way in the future, they's indistinguishable from magic. So what I can't figure out is once you leave this reality, how do they reinsert themselves back into this reality? I can't find it. I always end up in a different reality um, when I'm just, you know, perusing. And then sometimes I'll wake up and I'm back here. Anyway, that's beside the point. So there's a group who thought it'd be funny to play a little prank. <laughs> but, you know, it's just, just, that's just what they do. They're kind of like the character Q on Star Trek. They ain't got nothing better to do. So they went back in time and started changing all the biblical texts. And they took all sorts of stuff that was attributed to old oh, different apostles and stuff like that in the Bible. And they attributed it all to this character named Jesus. And they went back and they rewrote all these texts. There's still some stuff uh, at the Vatican, what is it, the Vatican archives that has the original in there, but they don't want you to see that. And they've been going back and forth in time with these guys, fighting them for centuries. Anyway, they thought it'd be funny to go back in time and make this character named Jesus. He was a real guy, but they just compiled a whole bunch of more stories and made him into this big inflated God type character. And then they made him a brown Jew and they wanted to trick the conservatives into worshiping a brown Jew. <laughs> Isn't that the funniest shit you ever heard? Well, here's the, the jokes on them. Fast forward to today, and there's pictures of white Jesus all over the place. You, you believe that? <laughs> pictures of, of white Jesus. They turned him white, y'all. And they don't follow none of his stuff, because when they went back in time, they also added all these, like, very almost communist ideas. Like, we're going to trick the conservatives into worshiping a brown Jew, communist, liberal hippie type. And so they made him all relaxed and groovy. Health care to the poor, free health care and all that idea. They said, don't worry about, you know, gays and hookers and stuff. You can be friends with all of them. Be nice to everybody. And isn't it just the damnedest thing that nowadays they've made him white and they invoke his name every time they take money out of the poor's pocket and every time they abuse people that they don't agree with. That's the damnedest thing I ever heard, ain't it? It's always time traveling white folk with you. It is always, ain't it? it that, that can't be the answer to everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just not always the time traveling white Illuminati is organization. It's just not. No matter how many times you say it, that's why we can't go back in the Vatican no more. I don't know about that, we'll see you next week. They they know your face. They got facial recognition software at the Vatican now. They know, I'll they know. I'll change it again. They know. Is that guy? I won't stand for this much longer. Like six more times, and I've had it. Yeah, seriously. Six more times, we, and I have had it. This person is a a mastermind, b an expert hacker, and c insane. Uh. All right, shall we talk about Jeff Bezos while we're on the while you mentioned all those things <laughs> about being insanity hackers? Isn't this nice? Jeff Bezos launched a two billion dollar fund to finance preschools to help homeless families oh. and families of low income, as officers would say. That sounds like 
there could be nothing sinister underlying to that. Well, you know, $2 billion is about a couple of weeks of his pay, right? Yeah. It's a couple mm. of weeks, right? Yeah. You know that? Yeah. That's, I'm not joking. There's actually a very funny Twitter account that I recently unsubscribed from because I got sick of being sad about it. And it was called, it's called Bezos in Perspective. And it'll be like, Jeff Bezos donates $10,000. And someone's like, it took him 1.72 seconds to make $10,000. You know, like yeah. that, that's the kind of things that always show up in this Twitter account. But if you're interested, it is out there and it's pretty interesting. Uh, now, one of the things about this is he said that his philosophy is that the children will be treated, he used the phrase, like mm. customers. Mm. As in he wants to give them the full Amazon customer experience, right? Oh, um. Let's get let's get for real, right? Shall we? So the like Pikachu Memorial Audio Visual Room will get open up, <laughs> along with like the Dora the Explorer Fun Center slash cafeteria. If they do, it'll all be branded as Amazon, and it'll only be open to Amazon Prime children. Oh, so that's the whole thing. When he says he's he wants it to be a customer experience. All the Amazon stuff is for Amazon Prime members. So there'll be like a shitty school downstairs that's like run down Regular. and stuff like that. Or you can subscribe to go to Preschool Prime, preschool which is Prime. on the next floor. Right, so I think yeah. The Verge... That makes sense. I think The Verge had a better headline over here on their article. It's the same article, but just a different headline between The Verge and TechCrunch over here. Yeah. You know, that, that's yeah. fun. But that's probably more like what it's really mm. going to be. Old Bezos there grooming everyone. Old man Bezos looking down. So he start. It starts with schools, right? Mm. 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm. It starts with schools, and then, before you know it, we're all going to be living as citizens of Amazon. Yeah. And the prime will be prime citizens or regular citizens. So do you think? Do you think they'll actually have teachers there, or do you think it will just be like, like, uh, like Alexa? What's three plus three? Do think? Well, three, like, is that, is it's just going to be an Alexa unit sitting at the, at the, oh, Belgium. right there, right there. Kids named Alexa will, Alexa will have extra benefits. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just going to be like, okay, Alexa, bloop, run the pop quiz. You can be like extra benefits for kids named Alexa. The extra benefit being that they're annoyed 24 hours a day, yeah, but right. everyone runs around saying Alexa, Alexa, Alexa. And they're like, mm -hmm. leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. So, yeah. Yeah. What's next on the list here? Guys, if you are uh, someone who shops on any online shop, I'm talking like the shops that keep your stuff on their server, like Amazon, Apple, mm. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just know that they can usually remove those things. Amazon does it all the time, too. This is an, an, Apple, an Apple about article. Oh, We've got an Apple about article here. We have an article about Apple here, mm -hmm. uh, and it's talking specifically about how Apple is removing films from people's accounts. And then they go and they're like, "Hey, I paid six dollars for that. And it said, you know, it said that I own it, right? Yeah. But Apple removed it from from the store. And what's really bad about this is their response to those customers is like, "Hey, we don't have any control over this. If a movie studio comes to us and says, "Hey, get that out of here." We have to get it out of here. And instead of just removing it from the store, they remove it from everyone's personal libraries mm -hmm. as well. And it seems like some people are getting their money back if it's been like, you know, a very short period of time. But they're like, hey, if it's been a long time or whatever, they're like, I'm sorry, it's been too long. We can't give you any money back. But how about a rental on us? Oh, that's cool. Apple. What is going on with Apple? That's like... That's like being like, okay, someone walks in and steals your movie collection and then is like, but here's a ticket for Blockbuster. So, uh, friends? And well, then, okay, like, walks out. Okay, <laughs> like, that analogy, let's go a step farther with the analogy you okay. just gave me, yeah, right? Yeah, analogies. More. So, grab okay. one of them things right there. Can you reach it? We'll, 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 we we're going to bring out the demonstration team right now. Okay. Hey, Trimus, what's up? Thanks for following. Hi. Hello there. Yes. Oh, no, I've bumped things. So, you hold on to this. Come on. Oh, okay. We're going to, we're going to, full on demonstration oh, team wow. going yeah. on right here. So, um, I am yeah, a Tremis, If you're trying to post links, dog, stop. Like it's not going to happen. Sorry. Yeah. That's now. That's why you get for 600 seconds. Sorry. Thanks yeah. for following, though. Yeah. <laughs> but now you know we don't post links, and uh, we'll see you in 600 seconds. And that yeah. time is going to fly because we're about to demonstrate something amazing, right? So you. I own to, this. What store did you go to the buy? Let's just say uh, pick pick any store. I don't know. Uh, Best Buy. Okay, I'm Best Buy. <laughs> okay. Right. So you bought that. You're at home, and uh, that game's made by EA, right? 
published yes. by EA. So EA called me and they're like, mm-hmm. listen, we don't want to sell any stuff at Best Buy anymore. We want nothing sold there. And I'm like, oh, really? So I send a bunch of muscly dudes all over town, maybe mostly girls, to make sure we have equal representation, right? Yeah. So I show up at your house. Excuse me. What? Thanks. I was just about to unleash the fury of shale, though. Uh, EA does not want to work with Walmart anymore, so you can't fucking have it, buddy. <sighs> End of discussion. Well, I suppose that makes sense. Is there any way I could get paid back for even a little part of it since I purchased it? Here's a quarter. Go to, go to a red box <laughs> and rent a movie. Yeah. That's what, that's what it's like. Mm. Exactly what it's like. Perfect. Tell all your friends, tell your neighbors, tell mm. your mom, tell your uncle. Tell old Uncle Forbes if, if you want to. Mm. All right, so... Let's look at uh, Rich, Richard Branson. So we're going, we're going for all the billionaires today and seeing what they think. Uh, Richard Branson's sort of a laid-back and groovy billionaire as opposed to a dread pirate billionaire. I mean, Elon Musk gets high, so... <laughs> That's the only thing that happened with that Joe Rogan interview. <laughs> it's like he sits there and talks about, like, th- everything, right? He saw, he's, like, trying to solve the world's problems out of his, like, scatterbrain, right? Just solving problems, you know? Yeah. And then every article on every website is, Holy shit, he smoked weed. What a bad influence. What a terrible guy. Yeah. He smoked weed in a place that it's legal. Mm -hmm. No different than alcohol, really. I mean, they were sitting there drinking whiskey all the whole entire show. No one gave a shit. I don't. I don't get it. Are we allowed to smoke on here? Can I? You can smoke all you want. I don't care. Cool. All right. Yeah. Maybe one of these episodes, I'll. uh... Yeah, you blaze and I'll drink. Be uh, real serious. (laughs) Absinthe or something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't. don't, He didn't even hail. Took a mouth hit. Loser. I, he he feels about the same way I do with that. It's like hard for me to get stuff done, you know, if I'm, if I smoke that stuff. I anyway, mean, Richard Branson. What, what you guys? Well, I didn't mean, mean to cut you that's off. That's all I got done. That's why I have, I'm at 100 percent on Spider Man right now. <laughs> marijuana, thanks. Spider Man plus marijuana. Uh, yes. I don't like smoking marijuana, but I don't care if it's legal. Yeah. Whatever you want. Yeah. I, even if it's not legal, who cares? Dude, smoke smoke drugs with your friends, right? Yeah, like Snoop Dogg says, smoke weed every day. Yeah, if you're not old enough, uh, don't do it. Don't. Yeah. Thanks for if the it, subscribe. If, it, if it's Faisal, illegal. What? Faisal all for uh, subscribing. They just subscribed. That's very close to Faisal. Hmm. My favorite character in the game we're working on. You know, I feel like Faisal. we're getting off topic. I want to hear about Richard Branson. You really want to hear about Richard Branson? <laughs> no, I don't. You just okay. want to hear about it because he's he's advocating for a three-day work week. That's why you want to hear about it. Ain't it? Yeah. So he's... Um, Advocating for a, a three-day work week, but you know when you read the whole uh, whole entire article, you'll see that he is advocating for. Thanks um, for subscribing, Dansk, 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 Darmok at Tanagra. <laughs> <laughs> so what he's advocating for here is like creating an environment where you can actually have this happen. I mean, he doesn't mm-hmm. say just like go in d- with everybody doing their regular work and be like, by the way. From now on, only come in two days, three days, whatever. Yeah. And don't do that and expect the same amount of stuff to get done if they're a certain type of employee. But he's like, you know, for a lot of positions, you can look for people who, and you can recruit, he said, higher quality people by saying like, look, we've got a lot of flex time. You Mm -hmm. take unlimited time off. You can work from home uh, and and three days a week. But here's your workload. Get it done. And a lot of times those people will work really hard during their time on and then during their time off they'll play hard they'll play hard get, have fun have fun <laughs> yeah. with their kids uh get all their personal stuff done and have a very mm-hmm. balanced life and usually if there's more balance you know work yeah doesn't suffer as much so i don't know so if you want to be like one of those people that tries to have it all you can yeah i mean like like i when i moved out to portland places where uh, like I when I was applying for jobs and stuff they'd be like well it's a full-time job it's 30 hours a week and I would be like um excuse 30 me hours where 30 hours is not full-time ma'am and they but it turns out that like is it 30 30 hours, 30 hours is like considered a full-time job here uh and so like Jesus. so and and like some people were like yeah what's wrong with you Justin like yeah it's a full-time job and I was like okay but that's 10 hours of work that I'm not doing and not getting paid for like I, I don't know and then I went to other places uh, and uh, I went to other I'd like explain that, and people were like, "Like, okay, what hippy dippy bullshit's going on in Portland?" Like, yeah, well, yeah. it's really weird. When I worked at Tiger Direct, right? Yeah, 
you had to have 50 hours on the clock or else you weren't considered uh, eligible for your salary. Hmm. Like even being a video person and a lot of our, a lot of times we, we did like on location stuff, but even then they, you had to like, I would, even if I was shooting an hour drive away from Tiger Direct, they wanted me to come and clock in so that I could be on the clock because at the end of the, at the end of the week, if it didn't say 50 hours, somebody somewhere would have an aneurysm, Mm -hmm. you know, that they looked at the spreadsheets. So a guy who worked on the little hand terminal thing and had all the spreadsheets helped me set up a little network so I could log in and change my hours on the fly. Mm. I did that until I got caught, but it was just ridiculous that you had to work 50 hours, but still that, that they considered that to be full time, 50 hours. And it's a little bit more than most, but a lot of places in America still consider that to be, uh, 50 hours or else none of your work counts. You know what I mean? Yeah. 40 to 45 hours in the UK. Yeah. Full time's 40 here, I think. Yeah. I don't know. This type of work week can work for certain types of jobs. Couldn't work for our job. Well, it might could. I mean, like, our, our, at least for me, like, my job kind of just happens throughout the day. Right. Because it'll be like, oh, this email came in. I need to stop and answer this email. Or like, oh, this article, I need to read this now and get it ready for the show or something like right. that. Or, like, Logan will message me at, you know, 11 at night being like, oh, my God, I just thought of this really great skit idea and stuff like right. that. Like, we, like, yeah, it I couldn't, I couldn't I just come in and do, like, eight hours and then be like, all right, no one talk to me about work now. Like, I mean, I guess it's healthy to unplug sometimes. I definitely go for the hikes, and then at nighttime, like, I turn, I close Outlook and everything like that. That's really important. I close Outlook when you're at home. That's fine. I don't care. Yeah. I mean, certain, uh, most of the time, yeah. <laughs> Unless it's, like, dire. Well, but, you never know if it's, like, a life or death thing, you know? Well, yeah, but also, like, a lot of the times we're, we're talking to, like, country com- uh, companies in, like, Taiwan and things like that. And they're up at 3 and, in the morning. Yeah, so they're messaging me at 1 a.m., and it's, like, I can either, you know, message them right now and get things resolved or I can message them tomorrow during my work and hours full... and then have two more days happen before everything right. gets resolved. So it's like, you'll, ah. you'll, you'll end up emailing them in Taiwan at yeah. like four in the morning and it's like, uh. yeah. So yeah, it's mm. pretty ridiculous. Mm. All right. Self-driving cars. We got a couple things to talk about. Homes. This is, this is interesting. Self-driving homes. Yeah. That's what it says. I, no, I, I'm just going to kind of glaze over this, but there is a pretty interesting idea in here, right? Yeah. So suppose you're at your house and you have your car that drives up and parks itself by the house. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of big. You know, it's like a big SUV. It's got a couch and a computer in it. And while you're home, you go and sit in it like it's your living room. Mm-hmm. Right? And you're just sitting there chilling. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you've got a meeting. And so the thing just starts driving. Your living room drives you to wherever you need to go. Mm. Do you want to drive around in your living room? Anybody out there? We, we, I mean, we are. If you could like bit. hang out in your living room, or maybe make it your computer room. You're just hang, sitting there playing video games and stuff, and it's like, I need milk. I need milk, and it's like, oh yes. And then let's take you to the milk place. Yeah, yeah, you just drive your living room around. I mean, like, could I park it down by the river? You could. So I could live in a van down by the river. If when it I'm... is, a, if it is a van, yeah. Cars don't fit by rivers. We've yeah, it's this. only vans that can be down by the river. Yes. Um. So, like, I, I mean, I guess that's cool. Next step would be Battle Houses. Battle House? <laughs> Obviously. You better register that. We're going to have the first annual Battle House. <laughs> it's going to because Flight of the Valkyries in the background. And yeah. then, like, yeah. And the, and the slogan will be, win or lose your home. Yeah. So, yeah, that'll be the best part. Is like You'll mm. get to watch people's homes destroyed. Yeah, it'll be. Yeah. Guys, Battle Houses. Battle House. <laughs> Coming to this AMC. Summer. AMC, is yeah. it? Yeah. Not the the Bearded Man channel. Or TLC, is, or TLC or something yeah, like that. Like, you know, the channels that used to teach you about stuff. Like, it could go... It, fuck, it'll be on the History Channel. They're not, they, they're they not teach, busy doing history anymore. The History Channel, Discovery Channel, TLC, they teach you so much about Bearded Men things. Yeah. Like, did you know that there are 18,000 different pawn shows? Apparently there are. Did uh, you know that this axe can chop down a tree faster than this axe? Holy fuck. Yeah. Yeah. And did you know that this... River trout is the most extreme river trout anywhere. Yo, I watched that river monster when we were in California. I actually watched watched cable for the first time in like 10 years. And I watched river monsters and was just like, Jesus, fuck. There's like this place in England that that has like three dams built in it. And the catfish in there have grown to like six feet long, 150 pound, like active at all times of day, you know, Plucking birds off the side of the banks and stuff, super monsters. And this is what passes for television these days. Yeah, can we 
what this guy to like fuck off like he keeps on trying to post links in here um so we got a mod near dude you can't post links stop yeah cut that shit out yeah the, 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 what is it uh time him out there we go stop posting links yeah thanks cut, for the follow cut that shit out all right yeah <clears throat> back to this yeah. more uh more driverless things so i bet there's a lot of um a lot of guys with beards shaking in their boots right about now because people that drive these things don't shave, I guess. I just want a beard that segue. Is, I don't know. That is a stereotype. Yeah, we need more mods. Hold on a second. Oh, no. What have you done? I don't what know. What have you done? What have you done? I'm going to make him a mod. All right. Mod him up. Ha-ha! Thanks, Josh. <laughs> fix it, Josh. <laughs> fix it, fix it, fix yeah. it. <laughs> Anyway, this is pretty interesting, and I bet there's a lot of yeah. truck drivers Tasty, out there. Tasty, where are you? <laughs> like, She's already yeah. a mod. Yeah, yeah take, get rid of this person. Get rid of she this clown. She is a mod. Yeah, get rid of this clown. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> People posted links? What yeah. are they doing? That's, Trying to post that's our Moobot. That's, that's supposed the, to post links. Delete. Uh, no, no, don't. Um, so anyway. We have our shit together, ladies and gentlemen. Volvo has yeah. this prototype here of a um, driverless truck. Yeah. Driverless, like, semi-truck. No cab needed. How, how, like, futuristic does that thing look? That sounds pretty cool. It looks pretty interesting, uh, and it's also all electric. We should probably get Christian on here to talk before he has to go. Yeah, he's got to go in a minute. Yeah, okay. But we'll be all right. Okay, cool. I mean, you, you all right over there? Okay. Like, he'll be on in just a second. Yeah, holler if we're pushing it too close and you need to come out and talk before you go. Yeah. Yeah. We're almost done, it looks like. So this thing's not going to really be very good for long haul because it's, it's not aerodynamic at all. They, I think they could put, like, some sort of a slope on the front of this thing, like a nice... So I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna take the chat away. If you keep reading it so much, it's just going crazy. Is it? It's like the car they dropped a trailer on. It, it does. Kind of does a little. They bit, just yeah. smashed the car down. But yeah, you, this is not gonna be good for a long haul because whenever one, it's battery powered. Mm -hmm. um, so that's gonna have a limit. They could probably put batteries all through the back, but that's gonna raise the weight quite a bit. Um, and then the other thing, this is just not aerodynamic at all. So it's gonna be good for like small trips and around town and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Kind of interesting. Cool. All right, you ready for it? Oh, yeah. We got we got some stuff here. Hmm. What, what do we got here? PDX alerts time, guys. We're yeah. going to see what's going on in Portland. Uh, a male taking his clothes off, screaming, and throwing rocks. Hey, that's over there at the, mm. at the, the Moto Center where uh, those guys tried to take my sunglasses. Oh, nice. Yeah. Remember that? Some, some ruffians got up in my face and were like, give me your sunglasses. Oh, here you go. And I wouldn't let him That's have the it. one you were talking about. Oh, yeah. Police to Walmart at Hayden Meadows report of a male and female who stole some items, one of which was a machete he concealed in his backpack <laughs> because machetes in Portland keep Portland machete. Yes. Um, there's our machete siding for the week. Yeah, keep Portland machete is my... Oh, oh, this is great. Yeah. Oh, God, she's going to get a splinter in her in her mm -hmm. uh, bits. Oh. Police to North Interstate uh, slash going. Caller reporting a female that looks like she is trying to have sex with a tree. Whew. That's, uh... Maybe her boyfriend has psoriasis, you asshole. Yeah. Mm. And they're having sex in public. You Got wood? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Wood joke, yeah. I don't I don't know what it would be like since I'm not a female. I don't I can't imagine, but I, it wouldn't it hurt if you got a splinter in a certain spot. Yeah. You know? No. Okay, moving on. <laughs> moving on. No. <Nope. laughs> Alright. Alright, let's get Christian out of here. You ready yeah, to Christian, talk come on. about the game for a little bit? No, it's nothing, it's just my own stuff. Yeah. Um let's get Christian over here and talk about the game. Oh, before Christian comes on. Uh our Patreon. Oh, let's make an yeah, announcement. We need to talk about our Patreon real quick. So, the Tech Syndicate Patreon is going to be deactivating at the end of this month. Uh, we have come to the realization that we haven't really been keeping up on our end of the stuff that are supposed to, that, you know, are the, the various goals and stuff Can like that. Can I cut that. in here? Yeah, go ahead. I'm not interested in doing Tech Syndicate until I'm 90 years old. I'm sorry, guys. Go. But... I do like technology and hardware because mm -hmm. it enables a lot of the things that we want to do. And that's like making yeah. games and making music and making creative stuff and doing things more like this. So mm -hmm. if you're someone who really enjoys serious business, I mean, there'll still be some hardware content that'll be coming up and there'll still mm -hmm. be like tech, you know, tutorials. In a perfect world, we would have had like 
you know, more people working on Tech Syndicate. But mm -hmm. the reality is, is that I'm going to be working on the game in a lot of my spare time. Yeah. And we'll be doing a lot of our streams are going to be focused more on the game. And a lot mm -hmm. of the content that we make is going to be like focused on the hardware and the mm -hmm. parts that we use to enable us to do all these things. So therefore, we're going to switch up to a new Patreon. Yeah. Um, it's not going to be supporting the game. It's going to be supporting all the content we make that surrounds the game, the vlogs, the so yeah, there will you know, be the a, streams a, and stuff. A midnight dojo, which is the company yeah. that's making Zweihander and everything. Uh, there will be one of those Patreons coming out starting next month. We'll keep everyone posted on that. We really appreciate the people that have been supporting us on the Tech Syndicate one. We, you guys are rock stars. You're the coolest. We, you know, feel free to just transfer that over <laughs> to the other one. You know, this is not the death of Tech Syndicate. It is not. Nope. It's still going to be there. No, we're still just gonna be there. We're just not going to focus on it as hard, is all, I guess, would be the thing. Yeah, I mean, we'll still yeah. do some of it, but, yeah, you know. But, uh, so, that's just, just a heads up about the Patreon. Yeah. I, if you guys want even, even further clarification, uh, the thing about Tech Syndicate and that never sat right with me is that we were, when we were reviewing a lot of this hardware... It was very ephemeral. We weren't. I never felt like we were doing anything grand or anything that was going to like impact people in a in, in a major way. Yeah. Um, but it's yeah. It's on the it's on the back burner, and and mm -hmm. we'll still be doing tech tech videos. I mean, even now, that, like the way it's been right now, it's probably the way it's going to be. Like we've yeah. done a, done a few tech videos. We've got some stuff coming on, up next week. We've got a Firefox video, a couple mm -hmm. monitors, um, and stuff like that. We've got stuff coming up next week. But as far as like what I do in my time off and like when I'm not like focused on it it's definitely going to be the video game because yeah that's not ephemeral and so, it's, it's something that i think is going to be have a broader audience and make a lot of people happy which i really want to do so. yeah so it's it's just it's changing it's not going away that's all you need to know right there yeah that that's that's that comment wins thank you yeah um, cause it's so disheartening when like we put out something that we think is really funny and someone's like uh yeah, but did you uh look at the new graphics card that came out this week? And it's like okay, but come on in here. Okay, but we we <laughs> let's go over just a little bit more. I can't. You can't. Maybe I'll come behind you. Guys. Hang, on. Hang on. What? No, do that. No, we're no you're, you're here. You're here. Okay. All right. Here. Take. No, it's good. It's good. Take a Christian. Huh? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no, no. He's here. He's here. Oh, he's in. Okay. We're all good. Hi. <laughs> Jesus, God. All right. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <clears throat> all right. All right. So this is Christian, guys. He's uh, helping us work on the video game, doing a lot of the legwork. You guys saw him yesterday if you watched the stream um, where we all hung out and played the game. So um, how much work do you think we have left to do if we had a team of High pistol. five? If we had a team of five people, mostly programmers at this point, right. I think we could get the game done in about six months. I think that's a pretty reasonable. Be a little bit louder. Let me. Uh, oh yeah, I, I think six months. Could, yeah, six mm -hmm. months. We could we could get the game done. Uh, we probably need about three programmers and and a couple of you know artists. Well, like a sound person, obviously. Right. Don't forget sound. You know. I think I thought I was yeah. going to do all the voices myself and all yeah. the <laughs> boing. Are you, are you part of the union? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. So I can yeah. do it. No union talent. Sorry. Right. Mm. Hey, Pistol. So. You showed up just for the end, but now you can listen to the Zviander talk. Yeah. Um, Anyway, uh, so let's, let's go through what we've, been, what we've done this week um, okay. and what we need to do coming up and just give everybody an update on where we're going with the video game. So this week we got a lot of the combat going. A lot of going. combat stuff, yeah. Uh, we got the sword slinging. Yep. We do have the sword slinging now. Those swords are slinging so nicely. And, and both players mm -hmm. are able to damage each other doing that because it, was, it right. was broken, you know. And we got the ragdoll in there. Yeah, yeah. So. You leave your dead body when you, you know, right. flopping around. You can come back to it. Go yeah, the, dead body. The, oh, thank the sword you, slinging. Um, someone in the comments the other day, and I want to spring this on you live to see how difficult it would be. I think it was on Twitter. Okay. They said, hey, uh, we need uh, a cat hat. A cat hat? How difficult would it be to... Do we have any cats in the, that we can throw we, into the we game? We don't have any cats as part of our, the things that we purchased or anything that we've made. We do have an owl. I could give you an owl hat. But an if owl we wanted hat. to do a cat hat, we would need uh, to assign that to one of our... Our artists or you know like purchase an asset but you know we, we don't like to purchase stuff we like to actually mm -hmm. right. build it in-house so it's unique you know so uh, we, we will can definitely do a cat hat though so mm -hmm. what i'm thinking right now is like you know a lot a lot of games they do like the standard like you got a new hat you can yeah. upgrade your your jacket or whatever yeah but there's not a lot of games doing living creatures as hats 
And I want to oh, yeah. really pioneer that, right? Yeah, you, you can, I'll nerd out on this if, if you, you know, just, I am just not cut joking. me off when you're ready. Because mm-hmm. here's how we would handle it. All right, let's talk about how we handle this. Yeah, we basically, that, that would be a skeletal mesh. So you import right. a skeletal mesh into the engine via uh, FBX import. You assign a physics asset to it and an animation controller. Now, right. as now the player controller, uh, he, you know, he, that's the that's that actually you. It right. can, you can attach it just as you would like a static helmet. Right. But you keep it animated and it has its own uh, animation that are linked to it um, right. so you parent it to a bone so it'll be parented to the head bone <laughs> in the game and then basically you can make an ability out of it too you can right. be like parent now that you have this bone. thing like right. if you if it charges up or something uh, the, your cat hat could do like a you yeah. know yeah, I, want, I wanted to give it like the a, other paper you know, make you know, them run the other way you know how cats yeah. do that really dumb thing with the one arm and they just like whap yeah. I wanted to like when you get close to someone I want the cat to do that like just sit there and be like you son of a bitch yeah <laughs> Don't you want that? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, a leaving a, a living hat demon cat. It, it right? should have a flip side of it though, because if you know, like cats, they, they think they're gods and stuff. Right. I mean, arguably, me, I don't know. And so, uh, so it should be like a mode where every once in a while, your cat just decides where you're gonna go. You know, just like decides how you're gonna play the game. So you just kind of, and you just have to like, what? I've lost control. Well, your your master is telling you what to do. <laughs> so the cat becomes like a parasite. Yeah, I mean, but you know, it's not gonna like go get you killed. Like maybe it just mm-hmm. you know just takes over, takes a steering wheel. Hmm. Seconds, yeah. Let us know what you guys think, because I think it would, I, I do like I actually do like power ups. Yeah. That have uh, drawbacks. Like we created one power up in the game, but um, and then the regular health. Uh, Justin's idea was just have turkey sort of as an homage to back back to like beat 'em ups, right? Yeah. yeah. Like so that that'll be like for when you're like 20 health and you want to pick up a turkey and get like 90 health or 50 health mm. or whatever. But he had an idea yesterday for what like the mega health or the double health or whatever, yeah. and that's going to be like a keg. So you like grab the keg, take a second to swig it. And then you have 200 health for like, you know, the health is going to go like 200, 195, 190, you know, it'll, yeah. it'll count down. So it's not like, oh, it'll, it'll be a limited time that you have this extra health. Mm-hmm. But during that period of time, you'll be drunk. So you have extra health, but you're like a little bit wobbly. Yeah. It, oh, on the, so the controls reverse too? That's always, <laughs> I don't know. If I, I always hate when that happens. No, no, I don't think that's like, a little too much punishment, uh, yeah. I think. Because um, I mean, in, in real yeah. life, if I get drunk, I can still walk straight. It's just you not know, perfectly, yeah, yeah. you know, like. So, but, but I think it would just with mess with your screen. on top of yeah. it. A hat and with that, a... and that hat is also wearing a cat, and that cat's also got a hat. Cascading on top of it. cats, cascading cats. It's like it's like at the end the of uh, it's like when the, in the Cat in the Hat, book, right, where he keeps on pulling smaller and smaller cats out of his hat to help oh, with things. Right. So, so it's would, the yeah. it's the it's the cat hat in the hat in the cat in the hat in the cat in the hat something right. like that. Right. Yeah. But mm-hmm. you you just totally inspired me. We need we need a like a character like or like maybe a little pet type character that's like thing one and thing two. That would yeah. be so cool. This is all your fault, and it's not worth programming time. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Right. Like Part of my thing this week is this, coming coming into the office and yeah. being like, hey, you're working on this really fun thing mm. in the game. And I'm like, no, no, no. Never. Uh, no yeah. That's not going to be for the demo. Uh, that, we're only working on a few different things just for the demo. That's actually called feature creep, where everybody yeah, yeah. you know everybody gets into idea mode, and, and it can slow down your production mm. pipeline pretty substantially. So, so feature creep is something that we're probably yeah. going to be able to avoid a lot of, because we have most of the things on paper, but... The one thing I want to be able to add is like some ridiculous, yeah. some ridiculous touches like the cat hat or, I don't know, like what else you what else you got right off the top of your head? Anybody out there? Like some just ridiculous little things. And the cat hat has to be like a cat wandering around the level. Yeah. And when you run and you push the pickup button, we have to have an animation where you grab it and just go, Rear! like it has to do, like right. and when you grab it, you get to slap it on your head and go. Rear! And we'll, we'll get we, like we've got the the meat where you g- right. turn into a giant. Right. So we get, we've got that one. It, it's just prototyped. It's it, we just kind of put it in for shits and giggles for like five minutes <laughs> or whatever. But you go and you find this giant piece of meat, you know, and, you, you, and, you and then become... you eat it and you you turn into a giant. So we're thinking <laughs> that you you move slower, so it gives a chance for the other player to kind of get away from you. Uh, but if they can't, then your your only attack, then you can't swing your sword or anything. Your only attack is to just stomp on the player. And so that would be kind of like. Fun little giant. I mean, we, we've already got that one yeah. pretty it's much done, pretty other, other than the stomping the animation. The animation for the stomp, right. But we yeah. already have the thing where you grow like Mario. It took him like 10 minutes to make that. I was like, we need some power-ups. And he's like, how about a giant power-up like Mario? And then he like jumped into blueprints, and 10 minutes later, he's like, look. And I was like, oh, that was quicker yeah. than I thought. Blueprints is pretty awesome. It just lets you like spitball things really fake easy and really fast. What? What is a fake purge? What is, what is a fake purge? Yeah, fake purge. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. I don't. I don't. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, all the bunny rabbits everywhere on every. Okay, just bunny rabbits everywhere. 
That it wasn't yeah. that done by Rayman already in Raving Rabbits or something. Oh, probably yeah, Raving, Raving Rabbits. 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 They're called Rabbits. Oh, they're called Rabbits. Yeah. Rabbits. Yeah. 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 Muba is is upset. Uh, apparently, your bruh Paul is here, Christian. Oh, hey Paul, what's up? <laughs> he's, he's your bruh. Nice. I'm sorry. Paul, he's your, bra. I'm sorry. He's your bra, not your bruh. So bra. Cool. So, cool, cool. We're not allowed to say the word bra in the office. No. We, we instituted that rule back when Hutch was here, remember? No more. <laughs> I thought we were allowed to say bra. Or bra. Well, what am I supposed to do about Paul bra? Bra is just a perversion of bra. Oh no, I've said it. You well, made I, me say I found it. out the hard way yesterday. We're definitely not allowed to say YOLO. Not YOLO. even in the chat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we start playing the game and we have our chat window in the game because we're, uh, we, we're connecting through Steam and he's, I, he starts yeah. off by being like YOLO. Yeah. And I was like, nope, 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 so, nope. Uh, huh. Fudic. 360, Fudiki, wants to know if, put a dollar in the Samurai Spirits? Yeah, I haven't seen the new teaser for Samurai Spirits. Let's watch it right now. Sweet. Start a bra jar. (coughs) I'm bringing it up right now. Samurai Spirits teaser trailer. Let's watch it together. Ding, ding, ding. Because you can do this now because it's live, right? Oh, look, they circled. Do the the top audio on? uh, Yeah, sure. All right, all right. So I want to see the fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me some gameplay. Hmm. Hmm. I want to see the game more. I don't want to see all this other stuff. What do you feel? They're just showing Haomaru or whatever his name is. Um, I, I, I don't know what to say about this. I mean, I guess it looks kind of like, you know, Street Fighter V type of game. I don't know. Interesting. I love Samurai Showdown. I don't know. Hmm. I really miss the pixel art, actually. I, I love the pixel yeah. art, but well, I'll, I'll give it a try. It looks pretty good. So. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say... I don't know. You don't know. I, 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 I'm not really a big fan of, of fighting games like that. Of just the like, you're both you know the Street Fighter esque like. It's definitely Asian Hotline Miami. <laughs> I mean, I saw the guy rolls in it, so it's pretty much Dark Souls. Dark Souls, yeah, it's yeah. got to be a Dark Souls uh, it's clone. It's basically just Dark Souls. Uh, I heard that Samurai Spirits is going to have a battle royale mode. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> Samurai Spirits battle royale. Yep. Yep. It's good. It's going to have a battle royale mode. It's the only way to survive. I, I mean, it kind of is battle royale. There's two people and only one wins. Yeah. It's, uh, it, last it's, man standing. It's not battle royale. It's last man standing mode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, back to the game for just a yeah. second, guys. I want to know what everyone in the audience thinks about a platform called Fig. Not to be confused with figging. Mm-hmm. Uh, F-I-G. Yeah, F-I-G. If you guys don't know about Fig, you should check it out. It's kind of like Kickstarter, except the backers, um, they become sort of like stakeholders in the game. And if the mm-hmm. game does really well, Fig actually pays some out of their take from this. So take a look at Fig. Um, Pillars of Eternity 2 was on there, raised like $4 million something mm-hmm. dollars. Um, Psychonauts 2 was on there, raised 3 something million, And then a bunch of other games that I haven't heard of. So I'm not sure if we'll explore that as an option, but... It's going to come down to the point where we either starve or make the fucking game. So, I think we're going to... I could use a little starving, though. I'm, <laughs> I'm saving up extra so when we starve... That's, what, that's what's cause happening. Because we're, we're... Yeah. That's what's universe. happening right now. The universe is going to... And then we'll all be in, like, great shape. It's, and, all, it's all a test, you know? It's yeah. Like, yeah. Are you really dedicated to this project? Like, yeah. Are you willing to give up food and eat peanut butter and top ramen? It's, I think I, the... Yeah. I think what's gonna be. I think what's gonna happen is like it's gonna get to the point where we're all like living in a ditch, and then it'll be really great for the documentary in ten years. Yeah. When they'd be like, "Oh, these guys started their video game company living in a ditch, yeah. eating. Uh, they weren't even eating ramen. They were eating worms and soil." Yeah. Is there like I've, I've if there's the top ramen, before. is there like bottom ramen too? Oh, good question. Yeah, because that's what we'd have to downgrade to. We'd be eating bottom ramen. Like we that's, can't that's afford the, fancy <clears throat> top ramen. That's the people that live in the sewers. They eat the bottom ramen. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? What happened to the show? Where have we gone? So anyway, you guys have any questions about the game? Go ahead and ask them right now. I'll stay on for a couple more minutes and see if you guys have any questions about that. Yeah, he can answer them while he's here. Even Mm. technical questions. By the way, we actually had the game up and running on Ubuntu earlier. I wasn't even, it wasn't even a priority when we were here this week. He was like, hey, I'm going to get the game running on uh, Linux. And I was like, get the engine installed, get the game in there. Don't 
spend time getting it running in Vulcan right now because we are not at that point. We'll do that after we after we get a budget. Right now, we're just working on getting the, like the combat ready and everything. So I leave for the night, and I come back the next morning, and you're like, well, instead of like chilling and taking time off, I sat down for just a few minutes and uh, blah, 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 Linux. That that's just the life of a gamer, though. You know, you can, like people think that uh, as a game developer, like you can have this nine to five, forty hours a week type thing. That that's that's not the reality. Mm -hmm. So I figure, you know, like I'm dedicated to this program, and I just I have fun doing it too. Right. So I, you know, I, I stop like the day's work when we've accomplished all of our. Yeah. Like here's here's tasks. the list. The list yeah, is done. And, you know, check, like check, I could check. watch a movie. I could you know call people. I could play a, a different game. But like I want to keep working on this game. So uh, yeah, this is a developer right here. Yeah. yeah so what happens? So Linux was was pretty interesting getting that up and running. But we are we are working on Linux now. Um, multiplayer, we're still kind of working out that because Steam isn't like syncing with it. But we're going to release on good old games anyway. So, yeah. uh, so Josh has, or <clears throat> Paul Quinn has a has a thing here. Hey, Josh. How dynamic are the maps? So I'll let you talk about the maps for just so a second. So dynamic. But they have they have a crazy. lot of they have a lot of Z variety, and yeah. that means like a lot of like. We, we've been thinking in a vertical sense, mm -hmm. uh, but go ahead and talk about the maps because Justin is drawing most of them. Uh, so, so our maps are, I mean, we have, we have various kind of ideas about how we want to do the maps. And, uh, recently, um, and this might, this might change before final release, obviously because a million things change before final release, but we kind of had the idea of having it be like, all right, so you have these really big maps and maybe you only have, you know, three players fighting right now, and that bigger map that you really, really like just does not make... It's too big, It's yeah. too big for three people. Yeah, you'll be, you'll so be you running can, around forever yeah, without so seeing you can, anybody. So we've, we're, we're thinking about making it so you can actually select, like, you know, this huge map is broken into thirds, so you're going to select just two-thirds of the map to fight on. Right. Or one-third of the map to make it really intense and stuff like that. So basically what we did with each map is each map is kind of broken up into zones of, like platforms and stuff to fight on like that so each little zone can can stand alone as its own battle arena or it can be part of this huge fleshed out battle map where like yeah if you've got like 12 across. or 15 yeah. players um so so basically you can scale how much you want to want to have on top of that <clears throat> and the other thing that we did is um all the maps are actually like a bunch of the stages are all on the same map right some of them well, in the background. So yeah, yeah. and and that helps with the loading. On so or something? well, no, not necessarily. It, it 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 might load a little bit faster if you've mm -hmm. already loaded one map because the other map is in the background. It might like be in the RAM or something like that. I'm not sure mm -hmm. exactly how all that's going to work. I'm not sure is the game going to go and reload it all if it's just a different instance no, on the same no, map. No, we could we could you know, reuse it right now. It'll, like, it'll probably just yeah. pull out a RAM. Yeah, but yeah, yeah there's there's one scene in particular where we have a very small map. It's only like a a two-player, three-player map. Um, yes. <laughs> yep. The Justin it's is just basically. I just basically take levels from Hotline Miami, and you make them vertical yeah, with all the platforms like this, and then yeah. just call it a new map. Yeah. But anyway, there's one map where we have like the marketplace and everything, and if you go up to the top of the level, mm -hmm. there's a castle on the on the top of a mountain. Well, that's a different map switched around to a different camera angle so you can look down and see the the village yeah. below you and mm -hmm. it's like hey that's where we, we were just fighting and then now you're up here fighting on top so you, that's kind of a mm -hmm. one thing we're doing um and not all the maps are probably going to be broken into the thirds but the bigger ones will yeah be. like the smaller ones there's gonna be some just yeah. small and, maps and we know? have and there's gonna be maps that are more technical in terms of like at what you need to do to actually traverse and there's going to be some that are more traditional for just like beating the shit out of each other yeah. on so yeah. some of the maps will have like lava pits and stuff to deal with where actually like if you go down there you start taking damage and things right but there might be a uh, power up in the middle of the lava yeah. pit so it's worth going in right to the lava for just a second and mm -hmm. we want we want to make sure that you know you can use your environment to actually gain yeah. an advantage over the other player so like one of my ideas is if we had a cavernous map right um, you can go and hop in one of those little mine carts and, right. and you'll like ride down and the other player can see you in the background because it's a big open space right you can ride down to another area of the map and the player wants to chase you because maybe they have a, a power up or a better weapon but if they chase you and you can get to a lever quick enough you then you drop rocks. Ro yeah the rocks yeah. or something like that you know so yeah that stuff's not yeah. too difficult to do in unreal so, but it will yeah. take some time but that's right. that's it's, some of the some of the thinking yeah. is to have some environmental traps yeah. and traps stuff. and cool things and I feel like, like that. it's better yeah, so. than just creating magic portals everywhere because right yeah. You know, yeah and the traps make it nice too because that way you don't have to constantly like if the person's like, well, haha, I'm just gonna stay away from you. You can be like, cool, suck it, loser, and like, you know, <laughs> pull a trap, make that happen to him. So I think the most cool. fun uh, with this game is when you lose your weapon because we have, mm -hmm. we got the sword slinging ability pretty much 
yeah. working now, so you can throw your sword. Yeah. Before, we just had it set up so that you could throw a million swords. It was like a machine gun. You right. Just, every time you push the button, it would yeah. throw it. It would like spawn a sword and throw it. Spawn a sword and throw it. Spawn a sword and throw it. Kind of cool. But now he has it set up so that you throw the sword, and then it lands, and you have to go pick it up. And if you miss, then yeah. you're scrambling, you know, because you're. Just, yeah, you have no yeah. sword, and the other guy's got a sword, and he's like, ha ha. So you have to run and like try to like either we don't have any pickups yet we don't have any like weapons lying around so you have to go try to get your sword back but yeah. I think it'll be a lot of fun in the game when you're fighting people you lose your sword that you maybe they dodge it or whatever and you're like oh shit and then you have to go grab another weapon an axe or something right. and then and then come back into the fight so uh, yes we are planning to have early access eventually uh, information yeah. on that will be on the new Patreon page actually and uh, we'll, you know for stuff like that. we might be able to even do extreme ridiculous early access for like a certain level on the on the patreon for the yeah. people who really want to support the game development uh like the patreon is not really going to be designed to support the game development but there'll be a certain level where like all right we'll give you like stupid alpha access yeah where all you can do is basically spawn into the level run around and hit the wall and then crash but and you'll be able to look watching all the glitches yeah. Yeah. yeah you can go glitch the game and then like mm -hmm. just don't email us being like um excuse me your game's glitched well unless like, unless yeah. we want to add them as as a user on jira and they right. can follow a, an organized right. format and document those things. yeah if, you're if they really if you're really that. good at documenting yeah. and like want to help that maybe that'll work yeah so. anyway um game coming whenever we get the funding yeah so yeah. but that's that's what we're going to do mm-hmm that's really what we're going to do, guys. Um, any more questions? Anybody show up right here while we were talking? Not really. Hello, Miami. It's very much it. The beta. Real, the beta question. Yeah. Uh, go to EpicPants.com and buy okay, shirts. Okay, he's asked us a couple of times. The, oh, best, okay. the best hardware firewall. Um, I am not an enterprise-grade guy, so I'm the wrong person to ask. I typically will just use a PFSense, which is a, basically a homemade uh, router, but also a firewall. And I think it does everything you need. It's got snort. You can Thanks set up all kinds of different Kyle. rules. Uh, but if you use PFSense, if, if not, check it out. But if you need something for like a big corporate network, you may want something a little bit more robust, but that would be over my head a little bit. So check it out. Yeah. Um, stupid alpha. Those are stupid buzzwords. Alpha. Yeah. <laughs> stupid alpha. You guys want to get involved in the stupid alpha access? Yeah. We get you set up right here. All right, guys. Do you want the alcohol story? Oh, the alcohol story. Oh, yeah. Okay, 37 people who are left. You're, you, you guys ready for this? Yeah. Okay. So I came in yesterday, and you were like... <laughs> yeah, I'm just like dying. So, so this, you know, it's been like a kind of a five-day stretch of nonstop development. You know, I'm taking very minimal sleep, sleep breaks and just, you know, grabbing like a protein bar just to kind of keep working, right? So I kind of get into this zone, and the longer I spend doing that, then I, all my common sense starts to just go away. So I had this box of uh, Fiber One bars from Costco, and I think I'd had it for like two years. So the first thing that happens, I tear open the Fiber One bar. How long does it take just, you to eat a box of Fiber I, One bars? I mean, well, they, they really work, so I, I only do it every once in a while. You know? <laughs> <laughs> There's a TMI in my bag. <laughs> and so, I didn't know this. Yeah, so, so I just like, I go to shove this name. Fiber One bar in my mouth and immediately almost start like dry heaving because I'm just like, because it's just covered in mold. I'm looking at it. So I'm running over oh. the sink, just like splashing as much water in my mouth as I can, right? And so that that's like tier one of my game dev insanity. And then just the other night, um, I'm, my eyes are super ready. I've been staring at the screen for like 18 hours. So I go to grab this little drop of uh, clear eyes that, right. I, that I brought. Um, you know, and, and it's like, <laughs> like a little, one of those little dropper bottles, like, like a little, little eye drops, right? And I just unscrew you it. Have like, it? You I have it? it? Yeah, well, I don't know. I might have thrown you it away oh, probably, in yeah. anger, right? Yeah. Probably threw it away. Uh, so, so I, I lean it up and I, I'm like dropping in a second and, and it doesn't hit me right away. And then I go to take the second drop and then my eye just starts burning like a son of a bitch. At some point, I think I actually f like emptied that eyedropper and filled it with isopropyl alcohol <laughs> to do something related to technology or computer stuff. Like you needed so just I, a few I, drops. I eye dropped of... myself with rubbing alcohol. The other night. <laughs> That's how much in the zone I was in this game dev stuff. So it's just like uh, it's a wild ride, but it's worth it, you know, because I love I love. And your eye was okay, but you said you yeah, was burning was in your ear. Oh, right? it was burning. It was burning so bad that I was hearing strange <laughs> sounds. Like it, you know, because your eyes and nose and ear, right, everything's right. connected. So I was like hearing like this weird, deep, <laughs> booming bass in my ear as my eyes just like gushing water. Yeah. So fortunately, I did not blind myself, mm. but it was uh, it was a close call there, and I made it. I made it. Out That's all the kind of stuff <laughs> yeah. that we'll be uploading to our normal vlogs about we're making the game. So once we, imagine we get a few people in here and like there's all kinds of insanity. Yeah. Developers do crazy things because they are so laser focused on what they're working on 
that they just forget the rest of the universe. And then when they come back to the rest of the universe, they forget that they put rubbing alcohol in their eye drop. Who the hell? I don't. I don't know why. Puts rubbing alcohol in an when, eye dropper. Yeah, when were you like? I need only a small drops amount of rubbing alcohol. I, I do a lot of weird right stuff. Here. So I don't. I don't. You're know. like okay. Yeah. You're like trying to pour it with the lid. You're like it's not precise I, enough. Damn it. I, yeah. I yeah. imagine there was something Too that much. I was cleaning, and I probably had a Q-tip, and I wanted to put a couple drops on a Q-tip. But you just dip the Q-tip know. in the yeah, right? too much. I mean, uh, yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, maybe I, it was too low. Maybe there was only a little bit. Or get one of those actual dropper things to just like suck it up and do, do, you know. Like, I mean, I've, I've never even. Could, why would anybody ever do that? I, I was like, exp- I was experimenting with advanced <laughs> alchemy. Don't try this. <laughs> uh, we're gonna put lots of advanced alchemy into the game, so it was. Yeah. <laughs> we all have to test it in real life first. We even test yeah. all the sword slinging at each other. Yeah, and then we see how we we make notes of how it ragdolls us when it hits us in the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's how we develop games. I mean, yes. we actually do sit in the office with like. The sword we have, a, we have a, a Zweihander oh, you want to grab? Yeah. here. So Claymore. Oh, it's like close is enough. that a two-hander? Or is that it's a hand it's, and a half? It's, it's a hand and a half, maybe. Yeah. So anyways, <laughs> like we actually <laughs> <laughs> fucking knock my head off with that thing. Yeah, it's not even sharp. Get over it. Uh, <laughs> just get so, over it. That's yeah. what he, calm your father of the year over here. Just, just get over it, son. <laughs> calm your ass down. Uh, uh, like, so, go ahead, stick the fork so, in the Like we actually, yeah, get we over actually it. like. <laughs> Like, we'll swing this around and be like, no, that swing wasn't realistic. Look, if you were holding it like that, it would swing like this. And so we're trying we're, to break it. Yeah. And then we just use the stuff we bought in a content pack for animations yeah. anyway, even though we yeah. argue about it. Like, argue well, we can about manipulate those animations. We're, we're changing them in mind. <laughs> we're just yeah. dumb white nerds with a sword at, at this point. Yeah. But someday we're going to be game developers. <laughs> and, and someday, in the very near future, we, we hope to have a full on mocap setup so we can actually do these shenanigans, mm-hmm. but bring it directly into the game. That's mainly just so I can do my dance moves that are going to make us the oh, real yeah. money. Oh, that, exactly. How, how funny yeah. would it be if you know we're, we're selling this game for nominal? fee yeah. and then we make a, g- a gabillion a gabillion that's number. that's with a gu so the power mm-hmm. of, uh, with a gu not, yeah not with a b with a gu yeah. we make a gabillion dollars on my sweet ass dance moves and the justin dance yeah I think they're going to be like if if this you know there's highly coveted dance moves it's like right. you know, Michael Jackson has some pretty timeless mm-hmm. uh, dance moves so I can those, do them all those could be like the high tier like big yeah. dollar I'm moves, just saying you know? yeah. I I'm I am going this is my dance will end the current era of dance <laughs> and usher in a new era of dance yes. he's well versed yeah yeah very well and I used to I used to do theater I was I in two theater. Yeah. I was in Fiddler on the Roof, and you know what they call me in that? Not Twinkle Toes. They call me Twinkle Feet. Wow. My whole feet twinkle. Whole feet twinkle. I mean, yeah. Geez. Doing them, so doing them Russian yeah. kicks and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys want some Russian kicks in your game? I was... It's coming right up. I, I was the roof in Fiddler on the Roof, so... You were the roof. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> some kid sitting on your back playing a fiddle. Yep. It was awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Best game ever. No, I'm serious, guys. Seriously. That is the only thing that we are going to sell. So we're dance moves. I'm not joking. We're going to sell dance moves. Clothing, not clothing. Oh, moves. we'll sell like act physical uh, that stuff. I'm not yeah. going to sell it. I want to give that away. Okay. Uh, like aesthetic yeah. stuff. I I'm so pissed off playing Quake Champions right now. Like if if you want your character to have a nose that's like you have to buy it, you have to buy like every color you want them to be a blue or anything. No, all, all, all that aesthetic stuff I want to give away. No, but you know what we should do. Dance moves. As Those a, are expensive. They they require a lot of work. You know what I think we should do as a response though to the sort of like industry uh you know, like the monetization of everything. Right. We should make like the the most grungy, dingy, like bland looking stuff. Right. The thing, the stuff that you have to purchase. Like, so if you just have like a, like a raggedy shirt that's right. just, you know, the very plain it's looks, like peasant looks clothes. like it's like you know, my first game. N- nothing cool. Yeah. Right. And, like, but that's like yeah. one hundred ninety nine dollars. One hundred ninety nine dollars. Oh man, that guy like, bought the torn up prisoner <laughs> shirt. He yeah. must be loaded. <laughs> you know, like whatever you assign monetary value to, people are going to covet because not because it looks yeah, cool. It's, it's because it they're the market, yeah, they, yeah, they're like, hey, I spent Only all this I money. <laughs> hey, oh. you didn't spend any money. Uh, so uh, I want to talk about what. Rod, Rigor just asked because it's about okay. Me. If you're gonna watch our stuff, make a yeah. different name, everybody, because so, so it's easy for us. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> make it easy for us. I am on Twitter. I don't post very often to it, but I do post sometimes. Uh, I'm in the description. I am the one that's at Dat Awesome Robot. Uh, that's my thing. It's listed somewhere down there. Yep. Was that um, a, was that an all question or a you question? That was a huh? me question. Okay. Yeah. That was just to me. Just to me. All right. My no, fan, not light. yours. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't fan. care about us. Your yeah. fan. <laughs> I'm going to poach you later. Sell wireframe <laughs> mocap dance moves. 
Mm -hmm. That's what's mm -hmm. happening. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Thanks, uh, D. Medi what Medici? D. De Medici. De, Me De Medici. Of Medici. I thought it meant uh, uh, I don't know. the medicine in sure. in Yiddish. I don't know. Everything's Yiddish today, by the yeah, way. It is. So, uh, De Medici, thanks yeah. a lot. You're awesome. Yep. Uh, you, uh, a big bear hug that Justin will deliver for me. I always have Sarah gets that motion. Oh, so great. Mm. That motion is just as good as physical touch, mm. guys. Yeah. The internet yeah, is all you hug. need. Physical touch, you don't need anymore. Yeah. I've decided. Yep. All right, guys. That's it. Yeah. Are we done? I'd say so. I think we're done. All right. Can I say something awful to end it? You got to throw.